Welcome to the ITU studio here in Budapest, Hungary, where we're here at the ITU Telecom World 2019. I'm very pleased to be joining the studio today with Mr. Nyombi Tembo, who is the director of the Rural Communications Development Fund in Uganda. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you uh, about uh, the theme of this event is innovating together, connectivity that matters. What makes connectivity meaningful, in your opinion, and why is it important? Yeah, connectivity is very meaningful because in the whole ICT ecosystem, I think this is the most important um, the issue that uh, connects the people, connects government, connects businesses. So, and the whole innovation ecosystem also works around the connectivity. Without a connectivity, we can talk about ICTs. So uh, that's the importance of um, uh, IC connectivity in the ICT ecosystem. And, and what's, the, what's the role of um, small and medium-sized enterprises and startups in driving the digital economy, in your opinion? Uh, mainly, especially in developing countries, you'll find that uh, medium and small enterprises are the major drivers of the economy. If they're the major drivers of the economy, and ICT now is becoming the key drivers of most of these economies. So it goes without saying that since uh, most of the, uh, uh, the businesses in developing countries are small and medium enterprises, and ICT is driving these economies, so actually most of these ICT companies actually can be uh, characterized as small and medium enterprise, so they are the drivers of the economy and uh, very, very important to, to uh, our economy. Let's talk about uh, Uganda. What are the challenges facing, uh, faced in developing a healthy innovation ecosystem, and how is Uganda addressing these challenges? <clears throat> uh, first, uh, the, the major challenge, I think, is the immature innovation ecosystem. The innovation ecosystem is so wide and needs a, a lot of babysitting, if you may, uh, for, for some time. Right from the universities, the, the public sector, the government policy, uh, financing, uh, all these. To me, the ecosystem is too immature. It, it needs uh, to, to reach a level of maturity where it can drive the innovation. So th that one is a major challenge. Of course, there are other secondary challenges everybody will talk about, like the financing, uh, lack of f financing, sometimes productivity in regulations and government policy, all those are challenges. But to me, it's the ecosystem. The whole ecosystem hasn't developed to a level where it will drive innovation to a level which you may want, like you see in Europe or in America or in China in developing countries, especially in Uganda, the ecosystem still, we don't have these uh, the venture capitalists, you don't find them, the angel investors if you want, the strategic institutions like the military plays a very, very big role in innovation and is still immature. So that level of uh, maturity of the ecosystem, I think is still the major challenge. And what do you think has got the greatest potential to uh, really drive forward digital transformation in Africa? I think the whole thing, again, uh, uh, depends on the, one, the e-government, uptake of uh, e-government e e services. Uh, it, it unlocks, when you uh, enhance that, it will unlock a, a lot of potential within the innovation eco ecosystem. For example, the issue of open data policy is still, still a very, very big challenge in most of the, the countries, uh, financing public finances uh, towards uh, the, the, the innovation uh, sector is still a very, very big challenge. But in Uganda, like you asked, we are trying to, 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 to unlock these uh, by trying as much as to, we can to put up innovation hubs. Actually, government is putting up one uh, at our, one of the strategic institutions called the Uganda Information and Communication Technology Institute in Uganda, and you want to have these universe, uh, innovation hubs in every region, or the full region uh, in the country. Universities are coming up, uh, and government is expanding on public universities. So far, I think we have about um, 11 uh, public universities. And the issue of innovations in public universities is put, a lot of uh, resources are being put uh, in universities to make sure that they, uh, they, 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 they produce 
the necessary talent who, who can lead in the innovation uh, cycle. So, yeah. And finally, very briefly, uh, what's the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World uh, 2019? Main connections, uh, connections, you get a lot of connections, you hear from the best. Uh, you, you try to, to, to benchmark the institutional uh, uh, the arrangement of the ITU where they bring together the, the best, you, you share experiences and you find where you have gaps to try to up your act to see that you come up to the mark. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Thank and you. We hopefully we'll catch up with you again some stage in the very near future. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.